hello guys and welcome back in this video we will learn how to open the gallery from the app to load an image from your device in jetpack compose so we used to used functions like media dot get bitmap or register for activity which got deprecated and now we have a new way to open the gallery from the app in jetpack compose so let's get started so we need to create a function called image picker so let's do that so i am going to delete the boilerplate code and we can say act composable function image picker So inside this function we need a image URI variable to store the image and uh, it's going to be of type mutable state of because we need to maintain the state of this URI so we will say where image URI remember here we need to say mutable state of and we need to provide the type so here we can say uri android.net question mark and here we can initialize it with null we also need the current context so we can say value context equals local context and we can say dot current now the next thing we need is a launcher so that we can access the gallery so we can say value launcher equals and here we need a remember function for launcher activity results so we can say remember launcher for activity results and inside this function we need to provide the type of activity that we want to do so we just want to pick up an image so for that we can say we can remove these parameters and we can say activity result contracts so this one activity results contracts so here are some bunch of options and we need the content so we can say get content and then we need to provide a parameter for the uri so here we can open the curly braces and here we can say uri and we can provide the lambda function then we can set the value of image uri to this uri so it can update the state of the image uri value so we can say image uri dot value equals uri we also need a placeholder image which is optional and not necessary but uh, it's good to have a placeholder image in the beginning so we can actually see the position of the image and the default image so I am just using a placeholder image from the shutterstock.com so we can say value placeholder image equals and I am just going to paste it here which I have already copied the URL so this is the URL from the shutterstock you can choose any placeholder image you want 
now we need to create the image and uh, button so we need a column so that uh, we can put these two items in vertical fashion and i also need them to be in center so let's create a column so we can say column modifier no we don't need it here actually okay this should have been outside of the launcher function so let's get it right first now let's create a column and uh, we can say modifier m dot fill max size and i want it to be in center so we can say vertical arrangement arrangement dot center and i also want it to be horizontally center so we can say horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally so that is the column that we need and now for image you can use the material image but uh, i am going to use coil image library because it's really easy and fun and provide a lot of functionality to manipulate the image in different ways so we need to open the build.gradle file and i am just going to paste the dependency here so this is the dependency for coil image library let's sync now so the sync is complete and i am running the alpha 05 version so if you want to learn more about coil image library then you can go to this site and here you can see that the dependency is here and it's quite older i am using the latest one so here you can learn more about the image loading libraries and how to use coil so let's move on with our image loading app so here we need to now place our image first so i will say image and uh, there are a lot of options here but uh, we need to choose the painter one image with painter one and here instead of painter i am going to use remember async painter remember async image painter actually so this one yeah so we need this one the first one we need to choose the first one and here for uh, model we can say image request coil dot request again dot builder and here we need to provide the context which we have already defined so we can just use the context after that we need to provide some more functionality so here after the context we can say dot crossfade which we can make it false and then we need the data so here we can say data so here is where we are going to put the image uri so for that we can say image uri dot value and if we have the value then we will use this image uri otherwise we can use our placeholder image so we can say either it's image uri if we have the image uri or placeholder image and then we can finally call the build function method now we need to provide the filter quality so here i can say filter quality 
and for some reason okay I forgot to put the comma here so we need to put a comma here and then we can say filter quality and then we can say filter quality dot high and for uh, content description you can say null and uh, after that we need to provide a uh, scaling for the image so we can say content scale content scale and here we have a couple of options so i am going to use the image uh, image as a profile so i will select content scale dot crop you can also choose fill or fill bounds depends on how big or small the image you want so i am just uh, using it as a profile picture so i will select the content scale dot crop after that we need to provide the modifier so i will say modifier modifier dot wrap content width and then i can also provide the size so i'm just going to use 128 dp and just we need to import the dp and you can also provide a little bit of padding so for padding we can say four dot dp and uh, to provide a shape we can use a clip function so here we will say clip and i want it to be a circle shape so here we can say circle shape and that's it for this image after this image we need some space between our image and button so we can use a spacer so for that we can say spacer and modifier and we can just give it a little bit of height so we can say modifier dot height and let's give it a 10 dp of height then we can actually declare our button so we can say button and the button have just one functionality to launch the gallery so we can say on click here we need to call our launcher function so we can say launcher dot launch and then we need to provide the input string because gallery content images and videos and we just want the images so we can say here images forward slash asterisk and then we need to specify then we need to just specify the text for the button so here we can say text and text is going to be just like uh, upload picture and i'm not going to do a lot with this text and button you can customize as much as you want so i think uh, we are done for this uh, image picker let's uh, oh we need to actually call it from uh, our uh, set content so here we will just say image picker and i am actually going to run it on my physical device on and not on emulator then i will connect it with uh, with a tool so let's run it first and then we will see how it works we also need internet permission to run this app because we are using this uh, placeholder image which is fetching the image from the internet so let's add that one also uses permissions and we can say android dot permission dot internet and actually i cannot show you the device on the screen right now i will show you after running the app because uh, i have connected my device with wi-fi and i cannot make two connection simultaneously so that's why i am going to first run this app on the physical device then i will disconnect it from the android studio and then i will
connect the device with a client app to to do the screen mirroring work so i am just going to run it now so now i have uh, my phone showing up on the screen and uh, i am going to demonstrate the uploading picture so let's click it on and we can actually go to images and camera and here is one image so i'm going to just pick this one so guys there was a little typo mistake from my end so here in button and instead of images we need to remove this as from the image because there is no such path as images so that's why i was unable to pick up the image so now we will run it again and see if it works and now that uh, my phone is showing on the screen so let's see if it works again so here i am clicking the button and i'm going to just pick this one image and you can see that uh, it's able to upload the image in the screen so yeah that's it for this video and i hope you like the video so if you like the video then please subscribe my channel and that's it for this video goodbye and take care and i will see you in the next one